third and six from the Skyhawks eight yard line. Janae is wide right. We're in the backfield. Perantes back to throw. Looks to that right corner. Touchdown. Threw it to Jan Jana, didn't he? Janae comes up with the eight yard scoring reception. And Duquesne takes a nine to three lead with 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Very cold and brisk fall afternoon. That's motion by Alves up the middle. And my goodness, Corbett has himself some room as he gains about nine down inside the 41. On the play fake, yeah. Caraja looking for room to the 20, to touchdown. the 10, touchdown. touchdown. Little zone read. 30 yards for Caraja. Read the defensive end, he squeezed on Corbett. He kept the ball, and boy, he looks faster than anybody else on the field when he runs. They may be undersized in comparison to Duquesne. Ware is in the backfield. Motion by Janae, fourth and about one. That's and tough. Ware does That's not tough. get it. He was hit in the backfield. David Fuller Williams, 6'2", only 235 pounds, but the junior got penetration and helped make the play. This formation, even though they had three wides, there's a little split zone, naked, they got the corner out, oh, it was there. And it's intercepted. Ryan that Webb. First mistake that the quarterback has made, Carrara had, he was open, it's just a poor throw, it was an errant throw. Three receivers to the right for Mishler. Four-man rush over the middle. He's got his man. That is Janae. It is a Duquesne first down. First down from the 26. Deep drop going down near the end zone. Right touchdown. side. Touchdown. Abdul Janae catching his second scoring strike of the afternoon. This one is from 26 yards out. Karaha delayed count. Carter in motion. Coming after him. This is Corbett. Look at him with the stiff arm against Jalen Carson. And it's another Skyhawks first down. I don't know if that was a stiff arm or a stiff shoulder. He lowered his shoulder, lowered the boot. The thing that I'm surprised is that they have Domercant out. Over the middle, touchdown! Will Diamantis. Catching his first career score. The junior goes 6'2, 195 pounds, and he finally reaches the end zone. And Stonehill has drawn to within 17 16. Karaha operates out of the shotgun. Corbett in the backfield. Motion by Carter. Play action. They've got to try to get Domer. A lot of time down the left sideline. He's got his man, and there he goes. Corbett. Corbett for the touchdown. It goes for 50 yards, and Stonehill jumps on top, 23 to 20. That's what I said. They're going to have to throw the ball, and they did. Uh, they were trying to do a double move to Comer Domercant. Three-man front for the Skyhawks. Mishler looked right, now goes long down the left side, and it is picked, picked off. off. Kevin Porch with the deflection and the interception. And Stonehill takes over inside their own 40 for Porch, his first interception of the season and the second of his five-year career. Double receivers to each side with Billy Lucas in the backfield. Parantas in his own end zone. Fires over the middle and it's intercepted by LaMonica. A diving pick at the Duquesne 17. And that's going to do it. With 1.21 to go, Stonehill celebrates along the near sideline. Paul, they deserved it. They've made the plays that had to be made. They've met the challenges. Whenever it looked like Duquesne was going to pull away from them, they stepped up and did what had to be done. They've stopped Duquesne on fourth down and short on two occasions. They shut them out of the end zone when they're on the one yard line. They've done the things they had to do to win the game. Statistically, it may be at the end like it's been from previously Duquesne where they outstat them, but it doesn't matter. For La Monica, it doesn't get any bigger than this. 
Welcome back to Easton, Massachusetts, where the Stonehill Skyhawks have celebrated their debut in the Northeast Conference with FCS play and a 24-20 upset win over the visiting Duquesne Dukes. Our player of the game is running back Jermaine Corbett, who is standing by on the sidelines. Jermaine, I have to tell you, your school has really looked forward to this game for quite a long time. It's family day, and you have rewarded them with a dramatic and impressive victory. It's got to feel very proud. Absolutely. It feels amazing. We practiced hard all week. We came out, and we it showed. It showed. Practice showed how hard we practiced. Let me ask you this, Jermaine. I thought that you might be able, with your quickness and speed, to run outside effectively. But what really surprised me was the quickness and the efficiency that you ran the ball inside the tackles. Your quick feet made it very difficult for those front seven for Duquesne to stop you. Did you ex guys expect to have the success that you had inside the tackles? Um, absolutely. We harped all week inside, inside. We just ran a bunch of inside counters, zone, zone, zone. And it, it showed. It worked. 26 carries for 130 yards. That's your season high. Three receptions for 63, including what I want to ask you about now, the 50-yard touchdown right in front of your bench down the sideline. Take me through that play because you certainly turned on the Jets. Oh, my God. That play was – my heart was pounding. Uh, so we ran we ran a little, a little pass play or a play action. Um, the linebacker was literally on my hip. I see my quarterback – cock his arm back and just let it go so I ran right under it and just kept running tell me what the mindset is was of your team coming into the game what did you expect are you going in you've you've heard all about the the mighty uh, Duquesne Dukes and how they've been the you know perennial favorites one of the better teams in the NEC for for the last 10 years did you guys expect anything different than what you received or did you anticipate being able to hang with them or were you surprised? Uh, we we definitely anticipated to hang with them. Uh, well, on film, we thought they were pretty good. I mean, they showed they were pretty good. They they came, they played hard, and I think our offensive line bust their ass all game, and it showed. Final thing, Jermaine, your quarterback, Arshir Karaha, went 12 of 18 for 149 yards and two touchdown strikes. And by the way, he showed some pretty good quicks on that 30-yard touchdown run. What's your grade on that one? <laughs> A plus. <laughs> <laughs> what was that play, Jermaine? Was that just a zone read where he read the the end of the line of scrimmage when the guy chased you? He just pulled it and kept it. Literally, <laughs> and the crazy thing about it was, I was holding the ball <laughs> as you, hard as I can. I wanted it. <laughs> you almost kept it, huh? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Jermaine Corbett, congratulations again. Thank you. Our star of the game as Stonehill beats Duquesne 24 to 20. Good Thank luck you. to you. Congratulations, you. Jermaine. Good Thank luck the rest of the way. Thank you.